Hi howdy, my name is John, and this video is the October Favorites book tag. This tag was created by Aubrey at Blackwell Music. She's a relatively new booktuber, and she created this tag, and I found the tag to be really creative, and I think she's really brave to create a tag so close to starting her channel, and I wanted to support her and give her channel a little bit of publicity. Prompt number one, Pumpkin Patch. Pick your favorite book or series with a large cast of characters. For the first prompt, I'm going to choose the World War series by Harry Turtledove. This is an alternate history that imagines a world where aliens invade during World War II. This series has a large cast of both real and fictional characters from the various countries that were combatants during World War II. Prompt number two, Foggy Morning. Name a book or series that you have strong, mixed feelings about. I'm going to choose The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger for this prompt. I did not enjoy reading this book. Its writing style is very grating, and I didn't like the main character. However, the more I think on this book, the more I recognize how genius this book actually is. If you've read the book all the way to the end, hopefully you've learned like I have how to have a little bit of compassion for Holden, even though he's annoying as all get out. Prompt number three, Salem Witches. Name a character that you feel was wrongly judged or condemned, either in the book itself or by real world readers and critics. Unfortunately, I don't have a good answer for this one. I really couldn't think of a character that uh, I thought had been unjustly judged. Prompt number four, Black Cat. A wickedly dark book or series you are excited to read this month. For this one, I'm going with Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've not read this book before, but I'm really looking forward to finally getting around to reading it. Prompt number five, Leaf Pile. A fictional world you'd be happy to physically jump into. For this one, I'm going to pick the Foundation series by Isaac Asimov. As an engineer, the future really fascinates me, and I would love to be a part of this world and see all of the fantastic inventions that uh, the future holds. Prompt number six, Crackling Fire, a book or series with a romance that sets you aflame. When Harry finally figured out that he was in love with Jenny, I cheered like the football team, which shall not be named, scored a touchdown. Prompt number seven, Full Moon. Name a character who drives you crazy. I'm sure you saw this one coming. It's got to be Holden. Prompt number eight, Halloween Costume. A book or series you wish would get a cover change. Under a Velvet Cloak is the eighth book in the Incarnations of Immortality series by Piers Anthony. It's the one that I don't have a, co a copy of yet, and I'm not a fan of the paperback version of the cover on this one. Definitely hoping they do a reprint with a better cover. Prompt number nine, Apple Pie. A book that makes you hungry. To Serve Man by Damon Knight. If you're unfamiliar with this classic short story, aliens come to visit Earth and cure the humanity of poverty and disease. Prompt number 10, Corn Maze, a book or series with a lot of twists and turns. I'm reading through the Great Coat series by Sebastian de Castell, and this series has a lot of plot turns and twists, and I'm really enjoying the series. Prompt number 11, Hot Chocolate. Name a comfort book or series that makes you warm inside. I probably could have answered all of these questions with uh, the Zamp novels. Just gone, oh, Zamp, Zamp, Zamp. But on this one, this one I have to pick Zamp because I've been reading Zamp since I was a teenager. It was my introduction to adult fantasy and science fiction. So here again, this is the series that is my comfort series. Prompt number 12, Jack-O-Lantern, a bloated book or series you wish you could carve up. I've got to go with the Earth Children series by Gene M. Hall, especially this book, The Plains of Passage. I love this series. 
it can be very description heavy and I think an edited version of this would be a lot more readable. Prompt number 13, Changing Leaves. Your opinion of a book or series that has changed over time. I'm going to go with the Dragonlance Chronicles on this one. I really enjoyed reading this the first time I uh, read it when, back when I was in college. But I read it at the beginning of the year. And I still enjoy this series. But it's definitely one that's fallen down the list of my favorite series. I've definitely read things that are better than this now. Prompt number 14. Graveyard Ghost. A character death that still haunts you. There's one character in this series whose death really kind of bothers me. He sacrificed a lot for his country. He was a very brave person, but he died a very sad and pathetic death. Part of the reason I did this tag was because I knew I'd never be able to tag Lady Jane in a video unless I beat her to the punch. I'm definitely going to tag Lady Jane in this one. I'm also going to tag Flipping Pages. He owes me a tag video as well, so I'm going to take those two. If you would like to do this tag, I highly encourage you to do it yourself. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.